Yes, welcome back to Seaster Circle Live. She's a style influencer, media personality, and entrepreneur who's taking the travel world by yes, storm hey. as host of Clio TV's hit series, Lens of Culture. Please welcome Ty Beauchamp. Take a look. Let's take a look first, right? We've got, a, we've got something. There we go, here we go. What can you dress me up for? There's always a reason to get Ty Beauchamp dressed well, in something. Well, this will make you a queen for the day. Okay. Queen B, Todd is taking your spot for the day. Okay, here we go. Nice. Now let's wake up one more officially. Ty Bo Yeah. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you too. Brown girl magic. Yes. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. You are truly the jack of all trades. Style influencer, media personality, and now you're getting into travel. Was this always something that you wanted to add to your list? Well, what's so interesting is I've been a traveler for a long time, and this is the type of show that you always dream of doing, right? Yes. To be able to get paid to actually show people how to travel, mm -hmm. and look at it's been amazing. We, um, we've had a really, really fun time Ooh. doing the show. I've always been a traveler. I've always enjoyed traveling, but I, for me, it's so important to just show young people, and especially yes. young people mm -hmm. of color, how yes. to do it. Right, yeah. because I feel it's unattainable. I know we'll get to that yeah. exactly. in a second. Exactly. Wow, wow. So being a part of uh, Lens of Culture, yeah. mm -hmm. what do you like most about it? What's been the most adventurous thing you've done? Oh, adventurous. Yeah. Oh my gosh, listen, they had me in New Orleans touching alligators and all. So here's the thing, what I will tell tell you is that my style of travel is very different from my co-host. So shout out to my amazing co-host, Elton Anderson, who okay. is the bomb and the love of my life. Like, we just have such a great time. Yeah. Um, but he likes to adventure travel. I'm like the girl that likes luxury travel. So mm -hmm. put me on the beach, give me a look. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I, but we, yeah, we have a we have a good time. So he's been amazing. I've touched alligators and in New Orleans. We went on a swamp tour. I went paragliding, mm -hmm. like in That's Malibu. Cool. So fun. stuff that I wouldn't typically do because I am like the person like I want to go to uh, to the museum. I want to explore culture, but I'm cool. With not being 500,000 mm -hmm. feet right, in right, so, right, you know right. what I mean? So okay. I tried some new things. Mm -hmm. Yes, awesome, 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 good stuff. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. So, with a lot of black millennials, as Quad with, uh, not Quad, Rashawn was saying, you know, <laughs> a lot of our young people think that it is unobtainable for them to travel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so okay. tell, tell them how easy it can be for them to start getting into travel. Well, first and foremost, it's really important to know that, it's, uh, you know, African Americans are actually spending $63 billion in, in travel mm. last year alone. Oh, so no, wow. we're, we're definitely traveling. With millennials, what I say is like invest in it the same way that you invest in a bag. Like I love fashion, I love style, I know you ladies do too, but put your money away and save it for the experience. And what mm. we realize about experience. young people is that they recognize the power in the experience as much as they do the latest, hottest mm -hmm. item. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, and then I say go with group, do group travel, because when you do group travel, you get better rates mm -hmm. and discounts, and it's, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, See the world. Yes. I'm a big believer, especially for young women, the more of the world you see, the better person that you are, and you can bring it back home yes. and be your badass at home. Right, you know I mean? right. So that's Absolutely. what I like to say. Yes. You know what, Ty, I, I have a question. And, and I'm very excited that young people are traveling and exploring because we need to do that, and we didn't do that in our generation. <laughs> mm -hmm. But with all of the th all of the things that are going on in our nation with trafficking and mm. all of the, mm. the, the fears Selena. that we're yeah. dealing with, what are some of the tips that you can give young people that when they travel to be cautious about? Mm, you know right. what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I saw the movie Hostile Child. <laughs> and I was yes. like, You're I, like, I'm good. I, I, I'm, I'm 43 and I ain't going. Exactly. Just because no, I, 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 I get it. I get it. I get it. So how it. can we tell young people to really, you know, how can they be aware of their surroundings? So first and foremost, one of the tips is that always keep a copy of your passport, both on your mobile device, but mm -hmm. also give it to your parents or someone that you're close to when you're traveling. That's number one. Yes. The other thing is make friends with the concierge. So mm. the concierge at your hotel, become friends with yeah, them. Talk to them and make sure that they're watching you. Mm -hmm. Ask them for a tour guide or if there's someone yes. from the property that, they, that you can hire to actually go with you. Mm -hmm. And then go and group travel. But my biggest thing is like, you know, and I'm just saying this because I love my parents, but they love a cruise and they love staying on the resort. To say that you went somewhere is not to really experience right. that place. Mm -hmm. So to stay on a resort is not really traveling. So you don't want to limit yourself by saying, I'm going to this fabulous resort, taking this fabulous picture, mm -hmm. and then not really seeing the land. Yeah. So yeah. Hire, hire, hire a tour guide, talk to the concierge, and make the most of your experience. Yeah. What's the favorite, your favorite place that you've ever traveled? Oh my gosh, in, in the world or on Lens of Culture? Uh, let's Period. say Lens of Culture. Okay, Lens of Culture. We're talking about Lens of Culture, which comes on every Saturday on Clear TV girl. at 12, just so we're clear. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, just so we're clear about that. Clear, okay. um, 
We we went to Ghana, uh, mm -hmm. which was amazing, um, and we also we were, we did three episodes in Ghana actually as we celebrate the year of return because we know it's been 400 years mm -hmm. um, since the first ship left Jamestown, Ghana, and came here Come to the on. United States. My God. So that was an amazing experience, mm -hmm. um, and I also went glamping. Mm. What's Which glamping? Is, so you girl, know, you glammed up in a camp, with girl. It, and it was it was you fat. Like, it, look, look, that's, wait, that's, that's the only thing that makes me like, like I'm cool. I'm cool. Lions and tigers and bears, like I cannot do. Tell me about glamping. So, I might so, do that. Here, here's the thing. So you have these fabulous airstreams. It's be and beautiful Joshua Tree, and it's really set up in a very chic way. So trust me when I tell you, I'm not for sitting under the stars in a plastic tent. That's yes, not Ty okay. Beauchamp style travel. Yes. Um, so we did the Airstream and it was lovely and we had an amazing dinner underneath the stars and connected Good. with nature and drank. Good, that's <laughs> Oh, that <laughs> sounds fun. Well, 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 I'm so glad, uh, we are so glad just to see another sister that's living out her dreams. Oh, thank, thank you, you ladies. So that's the same way about you all. Thank yes. you. Thank you. It's definitely a love fest down to the yes. sun. Yes. So you can catch a tie on the Lens of Culture, on Lens of Culture, Saturdays at 12 p.m. Eastern.